welcome back to my channel. I have something a little bit different that I want to try today. Now, today is the 21st, I think, of November 2018. And Beauty Bay is having one of their big 30% off sales. So I went ahead and bought some lashes from their sale. And I bought three different styles here, and these are styles that I have never tried before, and also from Amazon. So my idea for my video today was to try each pair of these lashes on, there's four different styles, and let you see exactly, so what's up with lashes? Like, do they really make a difference? There are tons of styles, there are tons of brands, tons of price points, and I wanted to see if I could show you guys what's in a lash, like, what's up? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off with the most natural lash that I have. I bought these on Amazon for like, I don't know, don't quote me, $10 around there maybe. This is the box and they are the Alice Demi Wispies. And you actually get one, two, three, four, five pairs. As you can see here, I've already used one pair and threw them out. Now, I normally use these um, quite a few times, maybe three or four times before I throw them away. So let's go ahead and get started with that. For my lash glue, there are tons of different lash glues out there, obviously. I love the, the Revlon Precision Clear Eyelash Glue. I am going to take a pair that I have already worn before. I have absolutely nothing on my lashes. Let me zoom you in. These are my natural lashes with no mascara. So normally when you wear false lashes, they say to curl your lashes sometimes, apply mascara before sometimes. Some people say they don't like to curl their lashes. I don't like to curl my lashes before, but I do like to put some mascara on. And for right now, we're just going to concentrate on the upper lash as far as mascara goes, because I have a feeling I'm gonna have some watery eyes. These Demi Wispies by Alice, they're more of a natural looking lash. So you're going to see, these are my lashes with just mascara on. Okay, so these lashes are on. These are the Wispies from Alice. These are my most natural looking lashes. Then this is how they look on. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, move on to the next one. Woo! So these are the Violet Voss lashes, and these are, I think these are synthetic. Let me see. Well, they don't say. And I bought these on Beauty Bay, and the price was seven euros. So here are the Violet Voss eyelashes in Wisp It Real Good. These don't look like they need to be cut, but what I like about these and what I like about the other eyelashes that I just showed you are that they have sort of a clear band. Okay, so these are the Violet Voss. The glue has not dried yet, so you might be able to see a little bit of white. So a more rounded eye look. So the next pair is a pair that I bought off of Beauty Bay as well, and these are mink. Don't come after me. I've never bought mink lashes in my entire life. These are the mink lashes, and the style is called Luna Fleur, and like I said, it's from Unicorn Lashes, and these were $15.75 on sale from 30% 30 30 off, I think. These are more fluffy all the way around. So here are the Unicorn Lashes in the style Luna Fleur. These are the mink lashes. You can see they are very dramatic, very fluffy, very full. They're beautiful and they're very comfortable. They're not heavy, although they look heavy. You can really tell how lashes, they all really give you a different look. These are very dramatic. This is definitely something where I'd wanna put mascara on the bottom lash line. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that so you can see the difference because this is very lash heavy on the top. If it's too lash heavy on the top, you've got to make sure you get those bottom lashes. One time I cut my lower lashes off. I thought they were too long. <laughs> Boy, did I ever look like an idiot afterward. So like, don't ever do that. I don't know what I was thinking. I told my sister, I'm like, I cut my bottom my lashes off because I thought they were too long. She's like, why in the world did you do that? I'm like, I don't know. So that's with bottom mascara on and they, it does look a little bit more even. I could even probably do a couple more coats. So we'll move on to the last pair and probably the most dramatic. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the last pair for today are by the brand Prima Lash Express. Shoot, 
These are 100% mink also. I didn't realize that. These were 683, and this is in the style Liar. So I will go ahead and cut these to size if need be, apply the glue, and be right back. Okay, these are the last and final pair. Like I said, these are the Prima Lashes and they are 100% mink. I can see why people like mink. Um, they certainly are more fluffy and very, ooh, very luxe, very lush. The thing about these lashes are they are very, very solid. They're, they're not a one-time wear. These are, if you treat them right, if you don't coat them with mascara, you can actually put them back in their case and wear them quite a few times. Like I said, these are the Prima Lash Express and the style is Liar. They're really pretty. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys found it informative. Um, I will go ahead and leave a link down below the description box to some videos that show you how to cut and size your lashes. I also want to share with you guys another great deal that I found on Amazon. These are the Bella hair lashes and these are soft, thick, false eyelashes, 10 pairs. And I think I paid, don't quote me, 10 or $15, but the, the brand is called Bella Lashes. And as you can see, I've worn the hell out of them and I keep wearing them over and over and over, but each one is a different style. And these are fake, they are not me. So go out there and try some things. Um, Ardell lashes are also great. The Ardell Demi Wispies are a, a very good natural everyday lash. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've tried any of these or if you've got any other ideas for people who are just getting into lashes or who wanna try lashes. So um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks, bye-bye.